Hi guys, welcome to Catherine's Book Island, and I'm Catherine, and today I'm here with another book review, and today the book I'm going to be reviewing is Thicker Than Blood, but before I get into the book review, there are a few things I want to talk to you guys about, so, <clears throat> um, the next video I'm going to be doing will be another book review, and then after that is going to be my October TBR, and I'm going to read a couple books, um, in October and then I'm gonna do a reading vlog um, I think I might do three books in my reading vlog because I just want to try it and see how I do and then um, we are gonna be doing um, all vampire books one month and then another month is gonna be like a serial killer um, like serial killer books that have to do with serial killers and then I think another one um, I'm gonna do is like a missing persons one where the books are about like missing people um, I think I'm gonna do that and if I come up with any other ones I'll let you guys know but those are the main ones I'm thinking about doing and as always if you have any other uh, questions or comments just leave them in the comment section and please leave a thumbs up if you like my content and subscribe as always and let's get into this book review so I'm reviewing um, Michael Mears Thicker Than Blood and I literally literally just finished it this morning um, so if you guys don't know I work nights so when I came home I only had like 35 minutes in this book so after my shower I just kind of lied in bed and followed along with the audiobook and I really have to say I liked it but I was also a little bit disappointed in this one um so if y'all guys don't know if you never read this book I'm gonna read the back of the book and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about it so it says a murderer who drinks his blood um, ugh. A murderer who drinks his victim's blood. FBI profiler Zoe Bentley and Tatum Gray thought they've seen it all. This young woman's murder is especially hard to stomach. They didn't expect to work this case, but vampirism aside, the murderer's M.O. is identical of that of Rod Glover, the serial killer who's been pursuing Zoe since childhood. Forensics revealed that the murder to be his work but not his alone. Despite to refill his sick, his sick purposes, he has taken on an equal devoted partner. Zoe's own frustration grows after another woman turns up dead and drained, and another goes missing. Time is running out, and Zoe knows her own death will be the climax of Glover's sinister plan, which has been unfolding for 20 years. To stop Glover and his partner, she needs to plummet deep into their motivations, but this means drawing even closer to becoming another casualty of a of dark, dark thirst. So I was really, really excited to read this book. I had very high expectations because I love vampires, and this had to do with like vampirism, which I was excited to read, you know, something a little different. Um... <clears throat> I liked a lot of things in this book, but I also disliked a lot of things in this book. For instance, the uh, story was good. I love the story. Um, some of the chapters kind of just drew out a little bit. Um, I feel like some of it was just kind of like filler, if you know what I'm saying. Like, it didn't really necessarily tie into the story. And what I liked about... This book in particular, instead of it just being, ooh, sorry, I hit my tripod, but instead of it being just like Zoe and Tatum, um, it's an, um, a detective named McDonald, um, who helps them with this, with, her, or helps them with her case that she's working, which is this case, and this takes place in Chicago, and Rod Glover, after moving away from where Zoe grew up, he moved to um, Chicago. And he 
in this book, he is not doing great. He, his health is declining. So, um, so he is not very great. And he has his partner who is obsessed with drinking human blood. And he has a thing like, oh, if you drink this blood, you know, it will help with your cancer and it will make you feel better. He goes, if it's, and Rod is like, if it's pure blood, it will make me feel better. Okay. Like, that didn't really make sense to me. But then again, this guy is, the guy that's drinking the blood is absolutely crazy. He is schizophrenic, first of all. He's crazy, second of all. And he drinks people's blood, third of all. And the very first, uh, I think it's the very first chapter, um... This also has, like, Rod Glover's POV and the guy that's, like, drinking the blood. I'm not going to tell you his name because the name is, like, a spoiler. I'm not going to go into spoilers quite yet. But, um, in the first chapter, uh, it's funny because the character, the first murder victim in this book, her name is Catherine. Which, it's like, okay. Um, but her name is Catherine Lamb. And they murder her. Um, he drinks her blood. Those kind of parts are kind of disgusting. That he, when he was drinking her blood, it was kind of nasty. But he was drinking her blood. And then, um, Rod Glover grabbed a tie, strangled her, strangled her, strangled her and raped her. Um, it didn't, the, it didn't go into detail with the rape. You just knew what he was doing. Just by the, like, the, by the, like, the way the writer wrote it, you could tell what he was doing, and then the next morning, um, of course, they called, uh, the father founder, called 911, Zoe and Tatum showed up and was, uh, talking to the lead detective, which is McDonald, and he's like, we just want to look at the crime scene, we think it's this guy named Rod Glover, we need to take a look. And she's like, no, like, that's not going to happen. And, and the very, very first book took place in Chicago. That was when they were doing the under Undertaker case. And the guy that's like, that they were working with the first book is in charge of this unit now. So he already gave them the go ahead to go and look. And she didn't know that. So... Anyway, they finally get to go in and look, and they determine that it did have a lot of his M.O., but it also didn't. Like, there was, like, she knew that there was someone else there, or that his M.O. kind of changed a little bit, because sometimes with serial killers, their M.O. changes, um, but not, not necessarily all of the time, um, but she just had a feeling, so they decided that they were going to stay and help. And then when the second murder happened, they didn't think it had... It had none of his... Like, it had none of Rod Glover's M.O. Only that the victim had been drained of blood. Um, but she was strangled. So that was, like, a part of his M.O. Because he likes to strangle women. <coughs> so... They're just trying to figure out, like, you know, what's going on and who, and Zoe's profiling, but her profiling skills in this book kind of lacked because she's so focused on wanting to get Glover that she thinks that his accomplice was in the church and she was kind of right, but she was also kind of wrong. Like, he wasn't, his accomplice wasn't in the church, um wasn't like an active member in the church so they're trying to figure all that stuff out and her profiling skills were kind of laxed because she is so honed in on catching lover that everything else is like that's like her main focus and um she makes a couple mistakes which end up losing which end up killing someone um but that person was already dead 
when they found her like a few days or maybe like a day or something like that but she felt really guilty um that's as much as I'm gonna get into with this book because I kind of just I want you guys to be surprised with this um I'm gonna give this book I want to say three stars because some of it like I said it just felt like really like some of these chapters felt like filler and some of it didn't feel like it fit the story but I still like it but I still really liked it because it had to do with vampirism and um Mike O'Meara is Mike O'Meara is like, like one of my favorite authors so I want to look for more books that he's written to read sorry it's like I'm hearing something going off and I don't know what that is but it's outside but um I honestly, if you guys like vampires, I would still recommend this book. Um, this one is a little bit slower. And with O'Donnell, like, she had, like, a lot of family stuff going on and a lot of, like, department drama, which I don't know if the story needed it personally, but I kind of liked um, that they introduced a new character to the book instead of just Zoe and Tatum and Andrea and like all those other characters like he added another character to this book um but yeah I, I honestly enjoyed it I just felt like there was just a lot to the chapters that were just filler didn't really or like they kind of stalled on the investigation a little bit a little bit too long kind of um but other than that I really enjoyed it so I gave it three stars so my next book that you I got that you guys are going to see me reading is In My Dreams I Hold a Knife and this one so I actually watch a lot of other people's reading vlogs just to kind of get ideas on like what to read and this one um Gabby Reed she read this one and she says it's a good one um so I'm going to read it I've kind of already started it I'm only like three chapters into this book right now but um so this one is about I'll just read the back real quick and then we'll so it says 10 years after graduation Jessica Miller has planned her trip to return to the Southern Elite University down to the envious whispers that are sure to follow in her wake. Everyone is going to see the girl she wants them to see. Confident, beautiful, indifferent, not the girl she was when she left campus. Back when Heather Shelby's murder fractured everything, including the tight bond linking the six friends she'd been close to since her freshman year. But not everyone is ready to move on. Not everyone left 10 years ago and now everyone can let Heather's murder go unsolved. Someone is determined to trap the real killer, to make the guilty pay. When the six friends are reunited, they will be forced to confront what happened that night and the year's worth of secrets each of them would do anything to keep hidden. And so this is the book I'm going to be reading. And this is going to be part of my September TBR. And then this is going to be the next video. And then the following video is going to be my October TBR. So you can see what books I'll be reading. And then two of those books I'm going to do a reading vlog for. Um, so I have to pick which ones I want to do. So as always, guys, have a safe day, night, or morning. And have a great day. Bye.